Two decades ago, Chef Philip Ross began studying the medicinal effects of mycelium, essentially the underground roots of mushrooms, like reishi or lingzhi in Chinese, commonly used in tea. Also an artist, Ross then used the substance to build furniture. Today he started the company Mycoworks, which takes mycelium live tissue and grows it through agricultural waste, such as sawdust and rice hull, to create this. You know, for the longest time it was just a very strange, weird thing this artist was doing, and now it seems like everybody's interested. Mycoworks has been able to grow material that is both flexible and extremely durable. 50 kilograms. No problem at all. All right, now we got uh, 65 kilograms. Now we have no idea how much this can take. We'll go with 80 kilograms, roughly 80 kilograms. <laughs> it works. The substance can be cut into pieces to make it easier to work with. And it even floats. We try it as a barrier between an ice cream cone and a blowtorch to demonstrate its heat-resistant capability. A lot of the materials that burn in a fire in your house give off uh, smoke that can be very toxic, and these do not give off these volatile organic compounds. With our materials, usually there's the input of agricultural waste, water, and then the mushroom. And from those three, we can generate hundreds of different kinds of materials. Ross brought mycelium to Stanford University, where Professor Drew Endy's students have created everything from vases to cell phone cases. Have you seen anything like this at all? No. No, from a variety of perspectives. So the biology is more complicated than we're familiar with. Um, these organisms are unbelievably sophisticated. And now we're talking about something that basically grows into this mycelial mesh uh, it can exist underground, above ground, we can reshape it. The, the wood fungus are going to be one of the major engines of manufacturing for the 21st century. I think that uh, people should look at the mushrooms that are growing around them a little bit differently. You might see one growing off the side of a tree in your park, and that might be the material that's going to go into your next automobile. Ross expects their material to first appear in apparel products by the end of the year. He hopes that someday we'll not only grow our own building materials, but once their life cycle has ended, throw them back into the garden to grow more. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.